pick up your phone. Now imagine making a million identical copies every screw, every component exactly the same. Before 1793, that was impossible. On December 7, 1765, Eli Whitney was born in Massachusetts. At 27, he traveled south and saw something that changed his life, enslaved people spending hours separating cotton from seeds by hand. Whitney invented the cotton gin in 1793. 50 times faster than human hands. It made cotton production explode. But here's what history books often skip, that explosion made slavery more profitable. More cotton meant more enslaved laborers. Whitney's invention strengthened the very system he claimed to want to improve. But Whitney's real revolution came later and it had nothing to do with cotton. In 1798, the US government gave him a contract, build 10,000 muskets. At the time, every gun was handmade by a single craftsman. Every part unique. Whitney had a radical idea, what if parts were interchangeable. He created machines that made identical components every trigger, every barrel, every screw precisely the same. At a demonstration, he dumped musket parts into piles, randomly assembled them, and they worked perfectly. This was the birth of mass production. Today, every car, every computer, every phone uses Whitney's principle. Assembly lines. Replacement parts. Global manufacturing. But we can't separate the innovation from its context. Whitney's cotton gin entrenched slavery for another 60 years. His genius came with consequences. Follow it on this day in science for the complete stories behind world-changing inventions.